up here earlier and it was so pretty that I had to run back to the house and get um, my camera. Okay, I had to cut that off because <clears throat> it was just too windy. And it wasn't really windy outside. Headed out of my yard, I dropped the wind protector that goes over the microphone and didn't realize, realize it until I got halfway up the hill. So it's fine. I can tell you what was going on. I actually had been up to the lake earlier and it was just so beautiful that I wanted to share it with you. So I went and got the camera and walked back up to the corner so you could see the view of the lake in the neighborhood where I live. I live on a lake property and even though the lake is not in our front or our backyard, we still live on a lake. And so it's absolutely beautiful. There are benches that go around the lake for people to sit and fish. And I, I'm just showing you here how the sun is shining down on the lake and the camera really it really just didn't do any justice. It was just absolutely beautiful. And I just wanted to share it with you. So I hope you enjoy the view. From the lake I wanted to show you what I was having for dinner um I actually videoed while I was cooking so let's go ahead and start right here and I'll show you how I made it be right back I had a taste for some of those spicy smoked sausages that I told you about when in the haul that I did for you previously from Sam's. I love this sausage. So I unthawed some from earlier and I was slicing them in small pieces. I grabbed a handful of shrimp while I was talking to my coworker Brian and I peeled those shrimp. They were frozen. I had them soaking in water. So I peeled the shrimp because I'm going to use shrimp and sausage in my meal. First step is to start browning them, not cook them really long. I just added them to the pan first and let the pan get to cooking. And then I took some white rice that I had left over from a previous meal. Now keep in mind this rice was cold from the refrigerator, so it was a little hard. I'm gonna need something to soften it up. What I'm gonna use is beef broth. I have some beef broth in the refrigerator and I'm using beef because I have the smoked sausage in there. And I don't add a whole lot at one time because I like to add a little bit gradually and get it to the consistency that I want. Plus, I want to add some seasonings to it as I go so that um, I just get it to the flavor I, I want. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to have it too soupy or too dry. So best for me to just add a little bit, stir it, let it cook a little bit, add a little more. While I was doing that, I went and grabbed some frozen bell peppers that I had in the freezer. I'm going to use green bell pepper, and I'm also going to use the multicolored yellow, orange, and red bell pepper. And I had a bunch of those cut up um, that I put in. I cut them myself and froze them, and I used them as I need them. So I keep stirring. Um adding seasoning i use garlic powder i also use adobo seasoning and then uh salt and pepper and i don't actually put salt and pepper in in this clip but i added it gradually until it got to the season to where i wanted it again just alternating between the beef broth and the seasoning and you can see that the color is changing of the rice um, because the beef broth is, is a dark color, but that's fine. Kind of put you in the mind of uh, like a shrimp fried rice or something, but it doesn't have that flavor. It's just um, 
it has a different flavor but this was really good you guys it was a good quick meal it was done in about 20 minutes and i'm talking about slicing up the meat and bringing it all together in the pan it was done in like 20 minutes so um yeah it was really good really simple just keep stirring it let those veggies get as soft or keep them as firm as you like them put whatever seasonings in them that you desire um you don't have to use beef chicken broth you can use chicken broth it beef broth you can use chicken broth is really up to you this is what mine looked like when it was done um like i said you can tell the color of the rice changed but hey it turned out really good it was really flavorful flavorful and we really enjoyed it all right so you see that was really simple and it's tasty one thing that i didn't put on camera is that i seasoned it with the garlic powder and the adobo but i added a little salt and pepper as i went so i continue to stir it continue to add the beef broth until it got the texture that i wanted it and i would add salt and pepper stir it let it cook a little bit taste add a little more until I got it where I want it. It's really flavorful. Flavorful. It was a quick meal. My only regret is that I didn't have some broccoli to go with it. That would have been really good. Oh, and you guys always see me. You always see me drinking coffee. And let me turn this TV down. You always see me drinking coffee. And I talk about the sugar-free flavoring, but I got some new flavoring. So let me show you what I've been using, and then I'll show you what I got. So my two favorite brands are the Terrani. This one is salted caramel. Only a little bit left. But I also like the skinny syrups. Let me put it down and try to focus. Maybe I need the light on. Okay. This is hazelnut by Skinny Syrups. It has zero calories and zero sugar. Both of these are on E, I know. And this is cookie dough by Skinny Syrups. Okay. These were $3.99 at Marshall's. The Terrani was $5.99 at Home Goods. This is a glass bottle that's plastic. But I found these on Amazon. They're also by Skinny Syrups, but they're from the Christmas collection. This one is cinnamon vanilla. white chocolate mocha and salted caramel swirl so i'm gonna really enjoy trying those i love these i love a little cream and sugar <laughs> a little coffee in my cream and sugar but i can't have all the sugar and stuff like that so i'm gonna enjoy trying those but anyway I wanted to share my meal with you and I wanted to share the beautiful warm day and just check in and say hello so I'm going to end this video for now so that I can edit um, my dress reveal and get it out to you um, and then you'll get this one after that so hope you guys have a fantastic day that you're enjoying the week today is Thursday um, when I'm recording this video, I know it'll probably be Friday or Saturday before you get it. Today is Thursday, so it's the end of the week and I'm super excited. I hope that your week is coming to a wonderful close and that, um, you be blessed and stay safe and, uh, enjoy your families during this time of being on quarantine. So. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.